But let's remind the audience, Cass, that's 22 tons he's strapped to. And quite a start. Heavy arm power and the leg drive, flawless. Look at that pump. Well, Cass, he is perfectly suited for this event, if anyone could be. 6'6", 375 pounds. And long strides. Look at those stumpy legs at 6'6". Six, six. He's put a lot of mass on and done his homework. He's got the momentum going now. Look at this. He's down to the final five meters, Kaz. The mark to beat, 49.22, and he's going to do it. Up against the big truck, Phil wins. 40.91 seconds for the American, Phil Fister. He is your current leader in the truck pole. Well, Phil Fister shows everyone how it's done. He just blistered the course in setting the new mark to beat. He's now standing by with Bill Kazmaier. Phil, great effort, 40 seconds. It's hard to believe you're coming up on 40 years. <laughs> oh, man, it was dusty and slippery out there. Tough pull. Does that start pretty tough? The, the truck looked a little bit cocked. You know, it was kind of a little tougher start than I'd anticipated. And it's a little slicker out there than you'd, you'd think. So it's really tough to get the hips low. Well, great job. Keep it up. Thanks, guys. So that takes us to our final competitor, the five-time world's strongest man, Marius Pujanowski of Poland. Kaz, Marius surely doesn't want to lose to Phil Fister for the second time running. To prevent that, he'll have to cover the 25-meter course quicker than 40.91 seconds. Ready? Well, Marius is definitely capable of doing that. He may be giving up 55 pounds, but I've never seen anybody pull harder than Marius Pujanowski on a heavy object. He's done it time and time again. Listen to that power output. And Marius may just scare the truck across the line at 6'1", 320 pounds. He is all power. Again, I've never seen anybody in history that puts it out on the line like Pujanowski. A mark to beat 40.91 put up by Phil Fister moments ago. He's not going to get it. Phil Fister gets the win in the truck pull. Marius will have to settle for second place. 45.40 seconds. Pujanowski never likes to finish second, but he's comfortable with the points. And Phil Fister, for the second time in two events, gets the six points and the victory. So the truck pole goes into the win column for Phil Fister. His time of 40.91 was nearly four and a half seconds faster than the result turned in by Marius Pujanowski. Irvin Katona once again was third, then it was Sadler, Khrushchev, and Lorries in fourth, fifth, and sixth. In the overall standings, Fister leads the way with 12 points, Pujanowski with 10 points. Then it's the Serbian Katona in third and England's Darren Sadler in fourth.